Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna open up this Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, like I said, number 75333. It has 282 pieces. It's a pretty big set. Or no, not a big set, but uh, for $30. It's a uh, quite. It's not that big of a set, actually. So uh, there's Tan Wee there, and I'll tell you guys some more about her. So this set came out on August 1st, so not too long ago, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, Tan Wee figure, right there, uh, it's actually, there's only been one made, and, uh, it comes in this set. Let me set the camera back up. That Tan Wee right there. Oh, there's Luke. Turn it back up. Okay. And, uh, it comes with an R4 and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and, uh, well, uh, yeah, let's just open it. Alright, so I just opened the box, and, uh, I don't use the thumb ta tabs because, uh, I don't know why, I just don't, so, uh, uh, nothing else in the box, so, uh, here's the manual, really boring compared to, hold on, let me grab another. So here is my Boba Fett's uh, Slave One, what they call it, uh, the Starship, and uh, the new the new ones, they're pretty ugly. So uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna get to uh, open it. So there's three bags in total. So uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? So this is the final product of the Obi-Wan Jedi Starfighter. So, uh, honestly, there's just a lot to get to. So, first of all, Tan Wee. This is a great figure. Uh, it's one of its kind. The head isn't squishy. And I thought it was going to be like some of that rubber type of stuff, but no, it's not. It's actually a pretty solid, uh, figure. And, uh, it's the only figure of that species, I can't remember the name, that we have. So that's cool. Uh, we have Obi-Wan here. Um, you know, you know, nothing special about it. You know, it's just your regular Obi-Wan. Hope you guys can see that. Hold on. Alright, so there's two heads. This is the first one, and, uh, let's see if you guys can see that. So there it is. So yeah, two heads, some back printing, but the back printing is just, like, wrinkling in the clothes, so it's nothing much. And then, hold on. Okay, so, and here is R4. What the Sorry. So, uh, here it is, R4, so, here it is, R4, uh, sadly, there's no back printing, but, uh, on the R2 on Dagobah, there is, so, uh, it's like they took a step back, when will anything ever focus for me? Alright, there, you guys see it, one of them has back printing, the other one doesn't. So, uh, just disappointing for me. Oh, and, uh, that was just a thing I was about to talk about. Uh, so, you could take off R4's head and put it in this little spot where you could just put his body in. And, uh, he, yeah, you kind of just keep him in there. I'm pretty sure this is the first set, uh, for Obi-Wan that, uh, just, you can have your R4 in your ship, which is pretty cool, and then you just put this head right there, and, uh, focus, please. Ah, come on. Hold on. Alright, so there we go. You can move his little head. And then also we have hit the radar, radar dish, which, uh, Obi-Wan uses when he's on that, where he crashed on that one planet. I can't remember, but, yeah, pretty cool. Um, Another big design flaw, uh, there's these big, empty lines in there. 
So if I if I was if you bought this set, I recommend displaying it pretty high because you can't see it from down here, but you can definitely see it if you're like, oh, I'm up here and tall. So if you had tall space, or if you had a lot of space up top, then uh, yeah, do it that. That's just my opinion. You can put it whatever, whichever way. Uh, and then Obi-Wan can sit in this cockpit. And uh, the cockpit is actually not too small. Obi-Wan just fits right in there. God, I don't my phone or ever fo Okay, there we go. And then he has this like, little control panel and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, then we'll move on to the bottom, which uh, has... So, just this, just the landing gear by itself, it sucks. I'll show you later, but uh, let's just right now, I uh, can put his lightsaber there. I put it in the wrong way, but you can have storage for his lightsaber. It's pretty cool, right? And, uh, and then these, I actually, I can't remember, but I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say, but uh, yeah. So, uh, just, just watch. Come on. This thing will never... Okay. So, there we go, right? Balance. Just the littlest amount of force. And it will tip over each side. So, I think they could have done at least something better with the landing gear. Because it's so easy to just tip it over. So, uh, yeah. That's just my review. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. And, um... Uh, Honestly, I'd give this set around a, you know, 9 out of 10. The figures really carry this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, please, just, yeah, have a good day. Bye.